welcome back to Spirits of Sanity. All right, let's go on into auxiliary power. I heard some banging in there earlier. Maybe that was just my imagination. It was making my characters go nuts, so. Um, not my stool. Um, so, there may be a death robot in there. Why don't I power this up just in case? There's one nearby, you probably heard that. Can I get these glasses? Can I shoot these? Do they break? No, they're they're uh, blaster proof? Cool. Alright, navigation's offline. We set power. Defense is locked. Ah, float lever. Okay, so this is like a circuit breaker. Uh, voltage shortage. Okay, so I'm gonna need to replace that um, fuse. Not, not sure where yet. Utilities is online, lab is online. Defense is locked. Let's look over here. Communication is offline. I might want to get that online. Med Bay online, survey offline, diagnostics online. So I imagine I'm probably only going to be able to get one of these working, maybe with that fuse I found. I like communications first, so I can call in and be like, yo, this ship is empty and there's death robots. Uh, there's only one place to put the fuse lights. Okay, can I close this door? And take the fuse back out, so that's that. All right. I suppose I can get this to work. Kilovolt volt shortage. Uh, I could maybe. Okay, how much does this need? No, it doesn't say. I could turn something else off and turn this on. Say, I don't want to turn off Med Bay. That might be a bad idea just in case there is someone left alive. Um, lab utilities, this is not a lot. Med Bay is 70. 42 for diagnostics. I'm going to turn this off. I can't. Okay. No, I can't turn this off. Okay, got you. So I'm going to need, find, need to find a way to get more power. Around. I'm not gonna get greeted by super death robots when I come out that door now that the lights are on. Navigation error, orbit lock engaged, the autopilot disabled. Engine A, active engine B. Right? So that what I thought was a black hole is probably a planet in the um, main menu. So we're gonna fly an engine that is Biohazard, we got a big old warning. Artificial gravity, 9.78 MS2. Death robots, are you out of here? Oh, death robots? Death robots? No, no, you're good. Uh, let's go check out the lab. It might be death robots taking a piss. Death robots? Dryer. Work. Can't push the button. Uh, there's not even a year. Okay, can there? Not disappointed. Oh, oh, it's auto magic. Okay. All right. Oh, they still use old-fashioned uh, toilet paper. Don't know. Three clamps something. Can I use the hair dryer. Toothpaste, soap, and a 
ladies' room. Yeah, too shit if they got no doors, huh? All right, well, that's 1983. They shit with the doors open. That's how they do it. Got some uh, deodorant, maybe speed stick, maybe. Smoke detector. Some on here. I suppose this uh, always gonna lead me down from there. He's like, yo, there's a dude over here. Go shoot him. No, you want to. I swear I came up. Oh, there's another vent here. This is the vent that I went through. Out in the cold of space. No one can hear the cable. Quarters and offices, all right? It's for me. There's a door and a vent. Let's check this out first. So, uh, oh, this is gonna drop down somewhere. All right, let's not drop down just yet. That might take me back to the shuttle bay or maybe some other area. You dumb dumbs. You dumb dumbs. Yeah. Now what, death robots? Now what? Ain't even know I was off. Gonna crawl up in that bed. Move this out of the way. I guess those two main forks are part of the robot's machine. Any other death robots in here? What up, death robots? Death robots, hello? I got a gun, I'll use it. A long ass hallway there, oh, and a door just, oh, death robot. Ugh. Yeah, what now, death robot, what now? So I wonder where that shaft went. I was right there. So that would have led me to maybe in a secret entrance to the crew quarters. Elevators. That elevator is probably going to take me down to where that. Um, near where that uh, ventilation shaft would have taken me. Let's check this out first. So this is headed to research. Alright. Allow me, let me do my due diligence and save my game real quick. There we go. I'm sure at some point I'm going to encounter stronger death robots than the pansies I've been fighting so far. Like that, alright? Alright, Boba. Now what? Yeah, that's right. I have 
a dinky pistol, but I know how to use it. So oh, well, so that, oh, those guys are bombs? Oh, death is not the end, I see. Oh, there's a mask. I can't go through here, though. Unless they gave me a toilet and, uh, purgatory or wherever I, oh, I can go through the window. Hello, mask. Can I... Are you... Are you leading me? Are you leading me back to my dead body? Where are you? Where... I'm not gonna follow you. Whatever. Let's... Let's do this. Oh, this is where I got killed. Oh, it is leading me back to where... Oh, no. Oh. Wow, some... This... Not good things happened here. What is happening? Uh, touch artifact? I don't... I don't... It has the creepy alternate 1980. Alright, fine, I'm touching it. That brings you back to life, huh? Oh, there's another mask. Are those, like, continues? Those masks or are they collectibles? Either way, damn! Bad things happen here, that is... Either somebody got a whole lot of ketchup or red paint or that... Is there even that much blood in the human body? Damn! That's a lot of blood. We got a... This is the last confession and farewell of Cornell Johns. As I slip him from my shoulders like an old coat. I have killed my crewmate, Solomon Agnew, with a .35 screwdriver pushed up into his skull from under his chin. Damn! He pleaded with me not to do it, and I held him and cried, shedding my humanity like a man sweating out poison. Then I finished him carefully. I watched in his eyes as he left. The life force arcing between severed nodes. Well, shit. The long leaps of faith falling short. I felt him go, a great weight lifted, all his maniac chatter muted in an instant. It was a mercy to kill him. I took his body and I gave it up into the night, into the sunless sea. The captain will be next. Her thoughts are an interference, a mouthless drone fringed with sinuous rails. When I return to Earth, I will be clothed in light, scoured like a missing piece. I will be a sample. A sample. I will be an example. Well, that dude lost his shit. Wow. Damn. That is... That is a lot of blood. Wow. All right, so... Yeah, uh, really bad things happened here. Oh, model uh, airplane spaceship thing. All right, cool. That's neat. I want to stay with my new stuff. That's what it is. Are those beakers? Oh, we got a page. Cool. Minor incident report form. 23rd of January, 1983. 11.30 hours. Location of incident. Recreation hub. Person reporting incident. Lieutenant Solomon Agnew. Please describe the nature of the incident. At 11 a.m. I activated recreation droid 323 and requested a game of basketball. It was wearing the blue and silver shorts which Captain Zhao had previously described as spicy. I scored at least one good three-pointer and then I woke up in the med bay with my ears ringing. Apparently, 323 sodium battery had exploded under stress, destroying the droid and rendering me unconscious. 
This is the third similar incident this trip, and I'm beginning to lose my taste for sports. My revered bosses at the era decided to order their latest batch of recreation choice from the companies whose CEOs were now for cutting corners and spent more time betting starlets than ensuring the quality of his company's products. Lieutenant Johns had assured me that he will test all the batteries again, but repeated his warning that he cannot guarantee their stability. Captain Zhao has taken my complaint very seriously and was very sympathetic. She expressed regret that my spicy shorts are beyond repair. On a scale of 1 to 10, how effective do you think this form was in helping you to report the incident? A? <laughs> okay, spicy shorts. I never got to see the spicy shorts. No! Oh, no. Maybe there'll be a flashback sequence and I'll get to see the spicy shorts. Okay. So, oh, sodas. I can drink them. Do, do I want to save them for later? I'm not that thirsty. I don't need to drink three cans of them. I wonder if dying is part of the game always, or if it was just a one-time thing this time. If it's like a scripted thing, like they set those ro bomb robots there on purpose and knowing that there's like no chance I was going to survive that, or highly unlikely. I wonder if I could have survived it. Could I have run back to the elevator shaft and gotten away in time? Shooting them didn't do much. Either needed to take a lot more blasts or they just weren't gonna die. That is a lot of blood. I should probably follow that blood trail as much as I don't really want to. I'll just save my game. Oh, we got another page. Cool. Boiled up from the fissure in a furious cloud of black smoke like a thunderstorm. Filling the night air and pouring out the stars, putting out the stars. This was the Great Western Gin, also called the Gin of the East and the Slave of Iblis. The Jinn fought with Harun al Din for three days and three nights, and their combat was a terrible storm that could be heard for many leagues around. But as mighty as the Jinn might be, Harun al Din was tireless. No part of it could be made to feel pain, and he had no desires for the jinn to prey upon, as he was wont to do with mortal men. So in the end, the prince of Automata was victorious, and he sent the jinn back into the earth, having taken from him the horn of the unborn king, the sound of which could bring down the walls of cities and make the very ground tremble. Praise be to Allah. Then Harun al Din slung the horn back across his back together with the shield and turned to the east, to the lands where the sun rises and the princess Sirazad rules over a kingdom filled with gardens and flowing waters. Her counselor is the birds with an ancient. This is page 18, it's kind of number four. Okay. Do I hold on to these pages? Do I, I do, okay, I can read them again, sweet. Cool. Finders, how much time did it pass? It's, whoa, we just traveled back in time, two months. It was June, it is now April. What is happening? If every time I die, do I go back in time? Is time part of the game? Am I gonna need to die on purpose? So I can go and oh shit. I should probably just avoid the bomb robots, huh? Am I 
in space? Wherever I am, it's dark. And I can hear a bomb robot. It's, uh, uh, I'm afraid to turn on my light. I'm um, behind the window. Okay. That guy's behind the door. Can he get out? I hope not. Can get out through here. Oh, there's this guy. Can I disable him? Hopefully this guy can't get out. What up, dude? You're behind that. Two, four, five, seven. Can I shoot him from under the door? One way to find out. One, two, kick, full. Can I destroy this guy's weapon? Oh no. <laughs> Crap. Well, that was a thing. Or am I waking up this time? Back in the same spot. He blew himself up. Cool. Does another one of these uh, droids come out? I'm gonna blow this dude up. Hopefully these guys don't respawn. There's a finite amount of them. Now I can go in here. Two, four, five, seven. Will this open the door? This is broken, okay, but I can get in there anyway. Aha! That's H. Tell of the deserted campfire made famous by the poet, and the cold ghosts which linger about the dying embers. Then the blind boy began to sing in a voice as thin and pure as a flame. And the song he sang was the old one, which the birds also sang and the horses their stalls dream of at night. He sang of love, and how he would go to meet his beloved, even though the journey be a thousand leagues, and he should die upon the road. Scribble 61. All the while Harun al Din sat with his legs crossed, and did not move. The boy listened to the ticking of Harun's mechanism, and wondered at the nature of his companion, Many songs had he sang for fellow travelers around the warm heart of invisible fires. Many nights had he lain awake, waiting for strange hands to find him in the dark and exact the price of their kindness. O oh, desert, O oh, night, this is the tale of Harun al-Din, the prince of Automata, the tale of his days in the world of men. Gone now are the fires around which he sat, swept over by the endless sands. Gone are the... Okay. Oh, another mask, cool. I wonder, what I wonder if I went back in time again. I hope I find the... Um... I hope I find the uh, clock somewhere or calendar so I can Oh, we got another audio log. Captain Chow was no longer to be trusted or reasoned with. If she cannot be stopped, she will sacrifice our lives to a blind fear of the unknown. She is a Herodin, an ape, a rosebud ape. Solomon panders to her delusions with his idiot experiments like a child with a chemistry set, a ruptured balloon. But I feel a bigger ape woken and walking abroad, hear the static crackle of his fur, pleasures upon pleasures. Their little walls crumble, and it worries them to peek into the rooms next door. Yet individuals are nothing. They are not needed. There is a mess of chatter, when there should be a single note of pure harmony. I have not told the half of what I have seen. There is a great wave coming, and it'll wash all these little ripples away. There is a... Damn, Cornell. You done lost your shit, but good. Woo! Wow. Maybe I should blow these disabled robots up just in case. Oh, 
knows, maybe they'll reactivate it. Just a matter of fact. I don't know what that artifact was. I went this way before. I think this is oh, a bridge. Oh. Hello there. This is one of the few, the cleaning droids are one of the few droids that aren't trying to murder me. Bump into me, are they gonna chop me up? They got like blades and shit. Well, that's like their propeller, but still, probably wouldn't be too good up against my no noggin station on the bay. One left. Come on, buddy. Wanna 
Oh, it's not inside. Now what? No power to this hub whatsoever. Oh, what do we got? I can have a smoke. That's bad for your health. Now what the hell? I'm getting killed by death robots. I might as well smoke one up. You know what? Cigarette away. I can smoke the butts. I don't want to smoke the butts. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of nasty. All right, at least I killed all these dudes. Save the game here. And when I come back, I guess I'll go down this. Uh, ventilator uh, shaft and see where that leads.